Well, joining me now is Jennifer with the Boys and Girls Club of Topeka. Good morning. Hi. Thanks for being here. Yeah, so glad to be here. Well, Evergy has selected 10 community improvement projects from nonprofits across the state, including K State Rose Gardens in Manhattan and also the Boys and Girls Club of Topeka. So mm -hmm. tell us about this. So, yeah, Evergy reached out um, with this opportunity for what they're calling a hometown grant. Um, they're spreading good energy, and they basically wanted um, applications for community improvement projects. Um, and we were lucky to be chosen as one of the top 10 finalists, um, but we are up against some pretty impressive organizations. So we need some community help to make sure that um, Boys and Girls Clubs can kind of pull through on this one. Yeah, and how can people vote so for you guys? It's very simple. If people go to Evergy's Facebook page, they have a post pinned to the top of their page, um, and you just scroll through the photos. There's a little description of each project and what it would be funding, um, and you just like the photo that you like um, that you would like to vote for. Yeah. Um, and yeah, our, we just really feel like the project that we wrote for for um, Boys and Girls Clubs would be an improvement for the community because it's um, improvement to our building, but we hope for it to be a community resource the way that a lot of our facilities are. And how would that be a community resource? So um, we already have kind of a track and field situated at our Adams Club and community groups like the Topeka Police Athletic League and other organizations use that for events. Um, and the improvements to our Adams Club gym, um, including fresh paint, a large venue projector screen, would really allow um, a lot of organizations to use it for trainings, conferences, other special events, and just opening up the doors and making sure it's not just a resource for our club members, but for the whole community. Yeah, and so this project, or this campaign rather, actually mm -hmm. ends tomorrow. Yes. So do you know the cutoff time for that? I think maybe 5 p.m. Okay. Uh, don't quote me on that, but um, so yeah, there's still a lot of time that we yes. can run and get some votes in, um, and I hope everybody will just take a chance to scroll through and see what's the most meaningful to them. Yeah, definitely. Switching gears, you guys mm -hmm. have quite a few events coming up. Um, let's start with the Club Blue Kickball Tournament. Tell us yes. about that. Yes. Um, so that's on Saturday, April 9th. It is something that's been in the works for a long time, but we kept having to postpone because of the pandemic so we're excited to have 10 community teams come out for a full day kickball tournament um, a lot of corporate teams and then some friends and family teams as well so it'll just be kind of a fun day are you guys still accepting um, registration we do we have two spots left for friends okay. and family teams and um, we'll need them by 5 p.m. on Friday so okay coming yeah. quick yeah <laughs> lots to put on your notes for tomorrow yeah sure yeah <laughs> And the hiring fair and community resource mm -hmm. fair is also happening that day. So yes. give us the details on that. So we have quarterly kind of community resource fairs and they have different themes. This one's definitely, um, it's held at our teen center. It's gonna be catered more toward, um, there's gonna be a prom closet where people um, that are in need of something for prom can come and pick out a dress. People can donate old dresses that they don't want anymore. We'll have our food pantry open. So if anybody's in need of kind of food provisions and just all kinds of kind of community organizations out with information that might be helpful to the people that attend. All right, lots yeah. of exciting stuff happening yes. at the club. Jennifer, thank yeah. you for joining thank us you. this morning. And for more information, you can head to bgctopeka.org.